Hello YouTube and welcome to a progress update and little snow adventure in my Suzuki Alto. A surprising number of you have been asking for an update on how I'm getting on with the Alto. So I thought I'd just do a quick video and take it out for a drive in the snow to show you how I've been getting on. First though, I'll give you a quick look around the engine bay, as when I replaced the cam cover gasket a few months ago, I never really showed you the finished article. It ended with me having replaced the gasket, but then cracking the cover as I redid the bolts to put it back on. Well, to cut a long story short, as you can see, I now have a new cover fitted. I went to a local scrapyard, found an identical Alto, took a load of tools with me and removed the cover. So for the price of £25 I got a replacement cover and it even came with all the coil packs as well. So I've got a spare set of them. Just to make it look a bit special I uh, cleaned the whole thing back down, degreased it as best I could and then painted it a shiny metallic black cover just to make it look a bit more tidy. But that's enough of looking around this greasy engine bay. Let's get out on the road. Well, you've been demanding it, so far be it for me to disappoint. I've been asked by at least three or four people in the comments for an update on how I'm getting on with my 2003 Suzuki Alto. Here we are in December in the Peak District, as you can see. And I've had the car for over 11 months now. And it's had a pretty hard life. I originally bought it um, just as a run around to use when it was too grim to ride out on the motorbike. But I've ended up using it pretty solidly throughout the year. Um, it stayed incredibly cheap to run. Uh, it only costs about £35 to fill a fuel tank because it's a fairly small tank. I think it's a 35 litre tank altogether. So, yeah, £40 to fill the tank. Um, and it's returning pretty good mileage. I don't know exactly what it is, but I would say around 50 miles per gallon. And I know when it came out of the factory that was what it was supposed to do, but considering it's now getting on to 15 years old, it's impressive that it's still keeping to that. Um, yeah, as I said, it's had a bit of a thrashing. I've used it as a commuter all through the winter and quite a bit in the summer as well. Um, it's been through all sorts of weathers, um, mostly rain and sleet, but a bit of snow as well. Um, and it's never, it's never faulted. Um, soon after I got the car, I did service it for about £60. And I bought a complete second set of spark plugs, um, oil, oil filter, um, air filter. Uh, it doesn't have a fuel or a pollen filter as far as I'm aware. video. 
video, you can see how to fit um, front discs. They're actually a lot easier on this car because you don't have to take the wheel hubs off to fit them. Um, so it's quite a it's quite a straightforward job to do on your own. It took me three to four hours because I was figuring it out for the first time. But after you've done it once, you can probably do it in an hour or two. videos around here I hope soon. As you can see it's very picturesque up in the Peak District where I now live, no longer south of London. Someone's stuck. They've abandoned their car in the middle of the road. <laughs> see you folks. Sometimes owning a 600 pound 15 year old Suzuki is better than owning a brand new 80,000 pound Jaguar. And what you just saw there was the proof. Okay folks, one more thing that I want to do while I'm here is to try out some snow socks that I've recently bought. These are some fairly cheap items that I bought off the internet just in case I get trapped in snowy conditions. Um, I've only got summer tyres on the car at the moment which aren't the greatest for this sort of weather although they do get me about okay. I'll probably get some winter tyres fairly soon but as part of a test I just wanted to see how these perform. So, take it out of its packet. Slap the socks on. Roll the car forwards a little. There we go. Pull the rest of it over. These look very big for these wheels. I was fairly careful in trying to order the right size. And there we go. I have used snow socks before to great effect. These were half the price of the ones I'm used to. So I'm curious to see if they work as well. Okay, as you can see, this is quite a steep hill with quite a lot of snow on it. Only one other car, which is probably stuck there. Normally you'd never dream driving a two wheel drive. Suzuki Alto up such a route, but let's see what happens. First I'll try the lower car park, which is a bit shallower. Let's go. Hey, I'm going over the fresh snow as well. I'm not even using the uh, pre-trodden route. It's sliding a little, sliding more from side to side than backwards to forward. But, yeah, as you can see, it's working. And it's working rather well. There's another car there, that's impressive. Oops, there we go. A bit more revs needed, perhaps. Oh, is that a bit of wheel spin? Yeah, it is, stuck there. Let's see if we can go backwards. I didn't bring the spade with me. Oh, it could be stuck. Take a quick look outside. See how we're getting on. Ah, socks are still on there. So it may struggle a bit with very deep snow. Oh, it is very deep. That'll be why. See how deep it actually goes. It's pretty deep there. Okay, 
Let's try and turn around. Yeah, so a bit of a slip, but apart from that, these socks seem to be doing the job. Now let's see, can it handle the really steep hill? <laughs> oh dear, here we go. Yeah, bit of wheel spin at the front there. Struggling. Yeah, and stalled again. Go back a bit. See if I can hit it straight on. Now, to those of you thinking I'm using far too many revs. Oh no, damn it. Yeah, it is struggling to be honest. It's a tricky one because I'm having to use a lot of engine revs because it stalls at low revs. But at the same time, you want to keep the RPM as low as possible because you're driving on snow. So as you can see, yeah, it's not that straightforward and only really recommended in emergencies. But I'm making progress. I'm getting up a hill which normally you wouldn't dream of tackling in this kind of car. And we're almost at the top. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh well, I think I might have to call it quits there. Let's take another look around the outside. I wonder if these socks are a bit too big for the wheels. The wheels are spinning inside them fairly easily. Damn, so close. Okay then, so my verdict on these socks. They're more for emergency use than anything else. I wouldn't rely on them to go mountain climbing. And they're not that good for really steep inclines. Or really deep snow. But they should get you off your drive. Here we go. Downhill, they seem a bit more comfortable. I think that I think the socks I've got for the, are a bit, a little bit too big for this car. Downhill, I'm having no trouble. Anyway folks, I hope you found today's video fairly useful. Thanks for watching, see you next time.